Hola, ballers! It's Brad! And finally, it's time to bring you your... Five point... Five point... Pro Warrior Guide! So you can get in some dungeons and get some tanking done. Really important, okay? So we're going to be looking at everything from how you gear, how you gem, to how you play. And then we're going to go and kick some ass, okay? Remember, first and foremost, the reason we rolled a tank in the first place. And that's really fast queues. If you ever really don't remember why you're tanking. Because you never liked tanking in the first place. But wanted those queues. Then make sure you just go ahead and keep queuing in the dungeon finder while you're AFK. While you're doing other things, keep queuing and then cancelling the queue, okay? Just so you can appreciate how fast those queues keep popping up. It's really cru crucially important. So like that, just leave queue and then go ahead and just queue again. Very important that you do that so you realise how awesome you actually are. First things first, gearing. Gearing a prop warrior is really, really easy. As I keep telling you guys, please, for the love of God... Do not start tanking before you have the Bulwark of Azanoth Transmog, okay? It's really important. People are going to laugh at you if you don't have it. There's really no reason to go ahead and start tanking until you have at least this. Your Transmog needs to be delicious or nobody's going to take you seriously, okay? Nobody's going to take you seriously until you have at least a tier 6 set. But God, get the Bulwark of Azanoth, guys. I keep telling you, keep emailing me saying you're struggling in 5-mans and whatever. It's because you don't have that Transmog. Alright, nobody gives a shit. If you walk into a dungeon and you don't have a Bulwark of Azanoth, people really aren't going to care whatsoever. So before you go into any dungeons and get started, please make sure your transmog is fully set out. It's really important, okay? Remember, of course, you're choosing items with the highest item level. Stats are kind of irrelevant for a tank, okay? Not going to make a huge difference what stats you're taking. So even if it's like intellect or whatever, just make sure it has the highest item level you can get. Slap on some DPS gear. Really, don't worry about your gems at this stage, okay? Or any stage for that matter. Gems do not show up on your transmog. Very important that you guys remember that, that your gems will not appear on your transmog. And quite frankly... What's the point, right? They're going to cost you a lot of gold. They're not going to give you very many stats. Not going to make a huge difference. And more importantly, you just can't see them on your armor, right? We've been waiting for Blizzard for a long time to add some sort of sparkle, maybe. Just something to show that we've bothered to gem them. And until they do that, we're in the same boat, guys. We're just not going to bother, right? Like, what's the fucking point? Leave that stuff alone. Leave it to the no-lifers, okay? They'll go and spend all their money. Well, if you want to do, make some gems and laugh while they buy them. Remember while you're playing... Is that your job is to find the most dangerous mob in a pack. So let's say we're going to be tanking, say, four mobs or whatever. Find the most dangerous mob. Then please, for the love of God, mark it. Because tanking more than one mob is going to be seriously hard work. And that's not why we're doing it. And plus, if you're moving around a lot, people really can't drink in your transmog as, as properly. You're not going to look as silky smooth unless you're standing right in front of one mob. So mark that mob with a skull. That means that everybody else in the group knows that's the only one to be attacked. Okay? Okay. And then you're going to just use things like shield slam or whatever. And just press basically whatever's off cooldown at the time. Okay, so if you need to pop last stand or, you know, especially your bloodbath and your cooldowns and stuff. Remember, really you're trying to impress people with DPS. So for the remainder of this uh, guide, I usually took this away while I'm doing my auctions and stuff. Is make your damage meter as big as possible. Really get it in the middle of the screen so you can appreciate it. And spread it as wide as you can, guys. A really important tip that people forget is that the wider you make your damage meter screen, the bigger the bar looks, okay? The bigger the bar looks. And this is really important because once you start doing more damage than other people, that bar is just going to look incrementally bigger. What you don't want to do is be a real noob and make your bar really thin, okay? And then everybody kind of looks like they're doing the same damage. No, get it as wide as you can. Therefore, you're going to know that you're really the best. That's pretty important pretty important beyond that everything else is irrelevant so we're going to jump into a five man right now and we're going to see how this goes so let's just find group of course as a tank we're going to get an instant queue no big deal close that away make sure our damage is i want it to be central though there's nothing more important than making sure your ui is symmetrical it's kind of pointless playing if your ui is not symmetrical i don't know what how you guys feel about it but it's, it's about as bad as having a bad transmog for me it doesn't matter what damage i'm doing all I want to know is that everything on my UI is perfectly in line. Otherwise, I'm going to have a bad time. So there we go. We've got our dungeon up, as we expect from a tank, right? Oh, and now we're ready. Now, remember, we're going to run into just complete elitists in these dungeons. Everybody in a five-man dungeon is an absolute elitist. No life. These guys play the game constantly. They're real nerds. Real, real nerds. So you might get some aggro and stuff, but that's okay. 
That's fine. Just remember that these guys are fucking nerds and never had sex, right? Like us. These are just geeks. Spoiling for a rumble. It's really no big deal. Don't even worry about it. See the way it's interfering with my UI? I really don't like that. Okay, so we're going to go into our dungeon. Everything's ready. Our transmog's looking delicious. First things first, let's check everybody else's transmog, okay? That's blue judgment armor. Not a big fan. Let's check the mage. That's just... That's no good. That belt is not working for me at all. Check this guy. No, not a fan of the legs. Check the druid. And he's a tree. I mean, that's the worst transmog I've ever seen. So now's a really good opportunity to go and get a drink. Let this is The whole reason for this is to just make sure everybody can inspect you and check that your transmog is the best. All right, really important. Alright, so everybody should have checked your transmog by now. And now we're going to continue on to our dungeon. So remember, we're picking what are the scary mobs. Alright, the scary mobs. Now they pulled them. Don't you tank them. Whatever you do, guys, don't tank them. Though If they're going to pull, they think they're the tank. It's really important that you don't do that. Don't help people who are noobs, right? Because you didn't mark anything. That's the thing. You didn't mark a goddamn thing. You don't want to be helping people who can't help themselves. If they're going to pull it, they're going to tank it. Whatever you do, do not try and help the group in any manner. That is because it's their own fault. They should die. And for fact, after checking their transmogs, it's not surprising that they died or that they're going to pull. Because these are noobs, right? These no-lifers think they can get away with it. Don't allow them to do that. So we're going to be picking the scariest mob, which looks like that archer. So I'm going to put a skull on him. Skull on him. And now I'm ready. Let's run through this fire. Run through this fire. And I'm really going to get to this guy any day now. Okay, cool. Cool. Get in there. Right, tanking it. Okay. Now, that's off cool now. I'll press that one. That one. Awesome. Right, so now this one looks like the most dangerous. I'm going to mark it. And now that one's dead. Good job, team. Good job. And everyone's doing really well. And you can see here how the damage meter now looks. Now we've spread it around. Really, really cool. Now, I didn't pull them. Okay. Hold on. Hang on. Let me turn around. Got it. Right, let me mark it. Got it. Skull. There we go. Oh. Now, this is a common problem you're going to run into. And unfortunately, Blizzard hasn't fixed this. Is that when you're clicking your buttons... Sometimes the buttons can, like, move away from things. Let's mark this guy. I don't want anybody attacking anything else. So we're going to mark this guy. And we're going to tank it like this. Okay, so remember your priorities. Just click anything you can that's not on cooldown. If things light up, that usually means something good's going to happen. Really important, guys, as a big tip, is when things flash, that means good, okay? Shiny things are always better than things that aren't shiny. Good. Now, make sure your focus is 100% on the bottom of the screen where your buttons are, okay? You don't want to miss any shinies turning up that you're not being able to press. This is real. I mean, look how easy is this? This is the thing about Mr. Pandaria. Is it made it so it was easier for all of us to actually learn how to play. And that's something I really, really enjoy about it. Is because they make things shiny. And it, you can't really miss shinies when they show up like this. This is really cool. Oh, man. I'm starting to do so much damage as well. You see the way I'm beating that paladin, you fucking scrub? Yeah! Totally beat that paladin, which is awesome. Okay, now we got to check this item. Now, I can't roll need on this, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't consider it for transmog purposes. <sighs> it's a pretty good-looking item, you know. I might see if I can ask somebody. I'll greet it. I won them. Okay, this is a good time to maybe open mog it, but they've, they've got a head. They've got a head, which is a bit annoying, so we're going to save that for a mog it later. And we're going to go in here, and I haven't marked, which is real noobish, guys. Make sure you're always marked so that people don't pull the wrong things. Really important. There we go. Excellent, right? So now I know, if they're getting hit by something else, that's their own fault, right? Because the, the one with the skull is what we're... Unless the shiny. Oh, I do like it when the shiny things pop up. Right, let's do this. Oh, no. This one? Yes. And 
Charge! Yay! Got it. Now, this is definitely the most dangerous one, so we're going to tank this one. Now, be a little bit careful. Your finger can start to hurt after a while. Tanking is like one of the hardest jobs in the game, especially in these five man. So, what you really... Oh, look at this. What you really, really need to do is make sure that you're pressing the right shinies all the time. Because if you're not, then you're going to be in real trouble. And that could be really bad for everybody. Excellent. And this is shiny. Good. Shiny. I haven't got any shinies right now. Now, don't panic when you don't get any shinies. Excellent stuff. Okay. I'm just following these simple rules, guys. It's really hard. that you, you're, going, you're going to be one of the best tanks. Seriously. You're going to be an amazing tank. Nice. Shiny. I've got so many shinies at once. Did you see that? Oh, my God. Well... To be honest, that brings us to the end, really. Um, what you should do at this point is, especially if you don't think the dungeon's transmogs have improved at all since you started, is just to leave the group. Okay? Really important that you leave for no apparent reason. Uh, that way the people know that they were blessed to have your presence and they're going to miss you now. Okay? That's my guy from 5 point something, whatever. Uh, Pro Warrior. Hope you like that, guys. It's really going to help you out. Really going to help you out. See ya. Bye.